so hello guys welcome back to another new video in this series so in this video we are going to talk about a very powerful search engine called shodan so shodan is a very popular search engine among security researchers and this is because this search engine is particularly about finding vulnerable devices by crawling over the internet so what does crawling mean in simple words Crawling is like going over the internet and randomly scanning a random set of IP addresses for vulnerable devices. This search engine is particularly focused on uh, uh, IoT devices like web cameras or other smart devices which we use in our houses or in our offices. So it's particularly focused on that but it also detects other devices like computers or servers or any uh, device which is uh, capable of connecting to the internet and has a public IP assigned. So this uh, uh, search engine randomly scans uh, a set of public IP addresses for devices and then lists them. So now that we know what actually Shodan does, let's see how we can use it. So basically there are three ways to use Shodan. So the first way is using the web version or the actual search engine here. You can use a search bar to search, but uh, in order to start searching for devices, uh, you first need to create an account on Shodan. You can do it easily by using your Google account. And I would recommend you uh, to install and configure a VPN before uh, starting to use this tool because it uh, also lists, lists uh, the honeypots of various companies. So these honeypots uh, log the IP addresses of the visitors. So in order to be on the safe side, I would recommend you to configure a VPN or uh, have a VPN running in the background so that uh, you uh, remain anonymous. So the first way is uh, through the web version. The second way is using the command line interface of uh, the Shodan. This is actually the official command line interface version of Shodan. So this version comes uh, pre-installed in Kali Linux. So you do not need to worry about that. So first, uh, first uh, let's see how we can uh, search using the web version. So here in the search bar, uh, let me show you how we can actually search for devices using this uh, search engine. So here Let's say for instance, I want to uh, search for devices uh, which are running Windows XP as their main operating system. So I can use a filter to uh, filter the actual keyword which I want to search for. So I will type OS and then I will give it a colon and in double quotes, I will say Windows XP. So this is a particular uh, filter which is available on this search engine. So there are various uh, other filters available on the search engine. I have found a very uh, useful cheat sheet which uh, has uh, all the uh, very useful uh, filters of this uh, search engine listed. So I will provide that in the description. You can check it out from there. So let's say I want to search for this uh, uh, device which uh, uses Windows XP it's, as its operating system. So as soon as I click on search, here as you can see, it starts dead listing all the devices which are connected to the internet and are vulnerable uh, in some kind or the other or uh, just uh, for information purposes, uh, it is uh, giving some more information about these devices here. So there are a lot of devices uh, from all over the world. So here, uh, if I click on this device, then it will take me to the more information page. And here I can find out all the information which is available about this device. So similarly, let's say for instance, I want to search for a particular group of IP addresses, then I can use a filter called net and then semicolon or oh, sorry colon and then in double quotes I will specify the IP range for uh, let's say for instance I will provide 37.28.0.0 slash 16 
so this is a public ip range so if i want to search for the devices in this particular ip range i can type it like this so this is how we can use the shodan's web version to search for devices we can also search for our own public ip and see if our uh, what kind of information one can get through our public ip so this can be very useful to check if uh, any vulnerable device which is on your network is visible outside and can be exploited or not so in this way you can uh, uh, secure your network and your devices so this was about the web version so the next uh, way to use shodan is through the command line interface so this is pre installed in our kali linux distribution so we can just go in the terminal and start it from anywhere but if it is not installed in your system you can just uh, git clone this repo github repository and install it using python so it's very easy so let's see how this tool works on command line interface so here i need to type shodan and let's see what are the arguments which are available here so yeah here as you can see it is listing all the arguments which can be used with the shodan command so first of all uh, for starting to use this tool you need to uh, give the api key for your shodan account so when you create an, an account on the web version you get a api key so this api key can be viewed from here you just need to copy that api key and then in the command line you need to type shodan in it and then paste the api key here and it will recognize it so after you uh, paste the api key uh, searching using this command line interface is very very easy you just need to type shodan and then you need to type uh, argument which is search and then you can specify any search query you want here so let's say if i want to search for microsoft so i can provide microsoft here and then as soon as i click enter it will uh, list all the devices which uh, have the keyword microsoft in them so here as you can see it has already started listing the keywords so this is how the command line version of shodan is useful so this uh, uh, command line version is okay but uh, there is another third party tool which is uh, useful uh, more useful actually than the original tool because it allows us to save the uh, the results which we get here and as you can see this uh, is loading a hell lot of results but we cannot save it from here so it's not possible because this result is very big so i will just close this terminal and i will show you the third party tool which i am talking about okay so the third way of using shodan is uh, through a third party tool or a script so in this video i am going to use a tool called shodan i so this tool is basically slightly better than the original command line version of shodan or the official version so this tool is uh, useful because uh, it allows us to save all the search queries into a text file so that we can access it uh, uh, anytime again so let's see how we can use this tool so first we need to git clone this tool in our system i will provide a link in the description you can just uh, copy it and git clone it in your system so here i have already cloned it in my system so i can directly navigate into the folder you need to type git clone and then you need to copy paste the link here i have already done it so let's go inside the folder and here i go inside the folder let's see what are the files available here so here as you can see the first file which we need to uh, look for is the requirements.txt so this file contains all uh, the names of the python libraries which are uh, required to run this tool this tool works on python 3 so make sure you have python 3 installed on your system so first of all i will type pip3 install hyphen r requirements.txt and then as soon as i hit enter it will start installing all the required libraries so here i made some mistake with the command i need to give a space here so it will install all the required libraries from 
pip so here it says that requirements are already satisfied so i am ready to run the tool so for running the tool we will just simply type python 3 and then the name of the tool which is shodan i.py and as soon as i hit enter the tool will start so here this is uh, how this tool works so the first thing it's asking is like if i would uh, like to save the output in a file so i will type y and then it will ask you to give a uh, name to the file so i will type result so here it will ask you for the api key you just need to copy paste the api key i have already provided it inside the tool so it did not ask me so here it is similar to the normal command line interface so now you need to just enter the keyword to search and it will start searching and save all the search results inside a file so let me show you how to do this i will just type microsoft just like i did in the original version and i will press enter now as you can see it has started searching for uh, queries so this will be saved inside a file so let's first exit this because i don't want to uh, save uh, so many results in that same file so here let's see uh, if our file was created or not so here as you can see it created a text file called results.txt let's see what's inside this file so here as you can see uh, it has uh, listed all the information which we uh, got from so the shodan api or the shodan search engine database so this is very very useful information and uh, we have uh, saved it into a text file so that we can access it anytime so this tool is slightly better than the original command line version of shodan so that was it for shodan and for this video and thanks for watching